Yo, what's up? Name is Jetly01, and welcome back to some more Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. As in the last episode, we cut Maestral into tiny little pieces and cleared the longest level in the game. So now, this is the upgrade screen. After you clear Mission Zero, at any time in the game, you can open up the codec with the back button or the select button on the PS3, and it'll give you the option to go here to upgrade yourself. So, what you can do. You get various costumes. I own all of the costumes that I have unlocked so far. Basic cyborg body, which is the normal one. I think I'll show that off for a level. But later, this is the mariachi uniform, which doesn't make sense right now, but will make sense in around uh, two minutes. And then original body is a DLC item I got. It's pr I, th I don't know if they've actually made open any other DLC items for Xbox. But you can get Raiden's original body from level zero and use it the whole game. Or it's not the one from level zero. It's like the straight up one from Metal Gear Solid 4. And it's slightly different from the one at the beginning of the game. But for this next level I'm going to use the Mariachi uniform because it'll make sense in five minutes. And then you get your main weapon. There's your normal high frequency blade. And then here's the Murasama blade that belongs to Jetstream Sam. I'm going to try to upgrade this one. Or no. Um, I think my attack is at max on it, but I want to buy a wig. But then there's unique weapons. When you kill a boss, you get their weapons. So we just killed Mistral so we can get her spear. And these are, like, the extra weapons are really cool. Like, Mistral's weapon is really, really good at, wa at racking up gigantic combos, but... Once you get a combo going with it, you cannot switch back to your sword to block, and you can't block with these secondary weapons. So I don't even spend points on them anymore. I feel kind of bad because they're really, really cool, but it just it, if you can't block, it doesn't really work out that well. Which may sound kind of stupid considering I've been failing to block this whole LP, but that's just bad luck. So here's the infinite wig. All sub-weapons get infinite ammunition. I'm gonna buy this just because I want to have brown-haired Raiden for fun. Or I guess... I guess having the mariachi uniform means you can't actually see it. Okay. And then you can buy health upgrades. I've got all four. And you can buy blade mode bar upgrades. I've got all of those. And then skills, you can buy more attacks. So quick draw I don't have, lightning strike I don't have, and I don't have some of the weapons for other, or I don't have some of the attacks for the special weapons. But I think I'm just going to upgrade my Murasama and call that a day. 20,000 absorption, yes. So absorption 5, energy 5, and then the weapon will be utterly maxed out. Exit customize screen and let's get going. I think that took a little too long. I'm sorry if that bored you. Don't worry, the game picks back up. Look at that. Nearly a Batmobile. So you've got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Yep, all set. Hope so. You be a little I would just like to note right now that in cutscenes it won't show what you're wearing. I'll blend right in. So, like I said, that explains this costume. He actually thinks that the mariachi thing is going to let him just get through this town unnoticed. I believe we're in Mexico. Either Mexico or New Mexico somewhere. The doctor makes some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been Look who it is. So yeah, I say let's throw him a bone. It's the Blade Wolf, but he's on our side this time. It resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, not that funny. Let's go. We found what we were looking for. This car is so cool. I would love to have this car. But yeah, he actually thinks that's going he actually thinks that's gonna disguise him. Watch this. They just saw right through him. Raiden, your disguise skills suck. 
How exactly did you survive trying to be Solid Snake in Metal Gear Solid 2? And look at that, his car is even automatically drives itself. Now watch this, this is cool. Adios, amigos. And he just leaves the hat there. And they don't even do anything. They're just like, we just saw a crazy guy go into the sewers. We're not going to say anything about it to anyone, ever. It's of no consequence. It's right. I'm in the sewer system. All right. Let's get started. We are in the sewers. To investigate the yeah. Research center somewhere in that area. According to this part is fun. It's just the like the sewer idea is kind of boring. FYI. Even level one with its Call of Duty knockoff area had better design in my opinion. But hey, Mariachi uniform makes everything better. His ca it's just cl his sword is ki just clipping through the, his cape. That's hilarious. We still don't know the exact location. Like his spikes are clipping through the cape. If it wasn't platinum just trying to be hilarious, I would say they were being lazy, but they're just trying to be hilarious. Sneak into the lab. Or I guess it's just an oversight cuz when he sands sill, it's perfectly fine. No problem. Did I just say when he sands sill? He stands well, still. We'll see. Do we I need to work better. Kind of research ah. there? You know what? I give up on English today. My bad. To I need to work to get better at my enunciation of nation. It's possible. First things first. One does not simply go into college level English and talk badly. Your teacher will get mad at you. Even though I am going to get mad at her first, because we had to buy a book and read it, and it was basically just TV tropes with irrelevant entries. Could they be talking about you, G's? Like, I went through it, and I was like, I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this. I was calling out trope names while reading that freaking book. So, first thing I'm going to say to her is that I'm not very happy we had to waste money on that, because that's $10. And it was a $10 book, and for $10 during the Steam Summer Sale... I got a lot of stuff. I got 23 games for $90. If I would have had it be $100, I could have probably pulled in even more. What was that? Look up. Good boy. And I believe these are called Greyhound. Something. They act like monkeys. They have guns. They're big. And they're annoying. You're not going to like them. Quick. Don't want to attract too much attention down there. Kind of, their little grab is actually really powerful. Okay, blocked it. Good. The block worked. And insta kill. Wow, that's cool. Slam him into the ground, throw him, and then just cut him into little pieces. Bye bye. All in the mariachi uniform. So we got ambushed, but they died. Let me go. A little annoying you have to sit there and always read the combat results before it lets you continue. I see a maintenance yeah, this game is great. It does have some small problems, but it's mostly me just being used to... Like, I've been sitting here and actually trying to beat Xenoblade, and Xenoblade, if you know anything about it, you know that they pretty much took every gameplay mechanic ever and then did it completely right. Like, the only thing you can really complain about in Xenoblade is that it's too long. And that's pretty much all you get to complain about. The rest of it, they did right, so that should tell you something. So, let's take the high road so we can go stab this guy in the head instead of having to actually up and face him. Where is he at? B, action, cut him. Bye-bye. These guys are annoying, but when you can one-shot kill them, they stop being annoying. Okay. Okay, so that's where we've got to go. Mission marker isn't up, but that's because there's nowhere else for us to even go, so we've got to go that way. I just check all the areas. I believe there's a health upgrade, maybe? There's some sort of upgrade down there for you to go get. There is a boy in these sewers. Well, let's go help him. Oh. Hold up. Watch this. Rocket launcher. And I have infinite shots with it, too. Hello? Oh. I'm hitting the wrong button. So since I have the infinite wig, let's go classic Metal Gear for this. Just for the fun of it. 
Get off of me. Oh, so they latch on you and then explode. Three hits, three kills. Nice. Against these little guys, it's just not even worth doing anything but just blow them up. Infinite wig. Okay. Hit one, hit two, we're good. And that whole battle solved like that. I got a C. Because I didn't combo. Yeah, you can get away with just rocket launching everything, but it won't reward you very well. But I've already beaten the game, so it doesn't really matter. And you know what? I spent enough time showing Raiden's normal blade. Let's just cheat the game. Because, fun fact, I'm trying to record this whole thing in a single day. So if, hopefully that'll at least make the quality be equal. Because I've had one too many LPs where it's just... It just, like, fluctuated like crazy. So doing everything in one day, just because I can, and to keep the quality equal. And Raiden is an awesome ninja. But we have more enemies. I think I was wrong earlier, actually. I, or no, never mind. So the big Metal Gear looking, like the Metal Gear Rex looking things are geckos. These are mini geckos, I believe. Or no, mini geckos are the really tiny things. You know what? I don't know what anything is called. I just kill them. Don't ask me. Naming them isn't my job. And then they're just down like that because Sam has an overpowered sword. Got it. Alright, time to play fair. Oh, when you kill one of them near another one, they will actually sit there and go into a rage mode. So these guys are pretty dangerous. And he just sits there. Yeah, they get pretty dangerous in rage mode. So since you actually managed to hit me, suffer under the wrath of Mariachi. Mariachi? There we go. No. I saw you back there. No, get off me. You dead? He's dead. Okay. And that's that. Let's just casually stroll. Stroll our way down. Alright. Just casually, just shing. It's all good. It's not speed. What you say? Oh. Me a Guyanese from Guyana. You speak English? No. Yeah. He speaks lead speak. Call me Ryden. Me name George, like Georgetown. George. I like George. George is a cool character in this they game. Call them America President. Yeah. That and they gave him a really interesting speech so pattern style. Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no. See, he even calls him like he sees him. Other people are just like, Cyborg, he's like, Ninja. So he escaped from some sort of lab. Nah, I guess you're alright. If you're a cyborg, you know who they is? Who are them? My enemies. And they're gonna get cut with a weapon they, well, they didn't design it, never mind. So he got kidnapped. <laughs> and they've got just the little kid swearing. Seriously, Platinum? Seriously? Like you? You know what would actually be really, really interesting? If Platinum made an E-rated game. Like, give Platinum, like, Zelda or Kingdom Hearts or something. That would be really interesting. So you ran. Uh-huh. You shame me not a bad ass robot ninja. <coughs> Same as you. Ah. Excuse me. When you gotta sneeze, you gotta sneeze. And when you gotta run away from a lab full of crazy people, you gotta do like George did and run away from a lab full of crazy people. Me done plenty bad thing. But me not kill no man. Nah, never. Okay, so he wants to be a pacifist. Raiden can dig it. We tried to warn the boy. I say, IOD's brain would get cut out. Run your ass out of there! But them boy with me no understand. They like It's fun sitting here trying to read his read the top line of his subtitles because it's what he's actually saying. And I know the rest. 
George, I need like they did a really good job with his character and his speech patterns. Just really interesting. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? Okay. Yeah. He says the channel is super tight. So there's, there's we're gonna get to go through even stuff. more sewers to sneak yeah. into a secret base. That nice. Be where they dump the waste. There's something else. It sounds like a desperado exec was on site yesterday. So somebody was important was there too. For the meeting. You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find the server access terminal. That now we're talking in Metal Gear standard terms. We need to go steal the security camera footage. So I almost game? screwed up what I was going to say there, but I managed to save my English. Go me. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for So George is going back to base. It's like Suikoden. They're just going to go to Victory Castle. Suikoden 2 at least. Need to hurry. Agreed. Riding out. All right. But this has actually wound up being a pretty long episode. So this has been Gently One, and I will see you next time as we continue and try to find our way into the secret sneaky research base. See you then.